A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to GWK FSI, part five, of course. But, of course, we have ourselves some more Wolfenstein the New Colossus, the sequel to Wolfenstein the New Order, and, of course, the old blood. Just threw a grenade at a fuel tank and it blew up, pretty much. So now it looks like we have an opening to get to another section in the game that we need to go to. More Nazis to fight, of course. Bionic and humanoid, pretty much. We got ourselves some nice old glory kills, just like what Doom 2016 brought us. And as a result, that's just how I'm able to excel at this one so well. Yep, just going along, guns blazing. Of all things considered, I really do consider this one to be better than the likes of all the other Wolfenstein titles we got so far. Wow, it's like I just got knocked over and just like that, I died pretty much. Wow. There's the Bethesda logo and upcoming is the, wow, see there it is. It's the almighty Machine Games logo. Yep. Machine Games and Bethesda have partnered up together to create Wolfenstein the New Colossus, the sequel to the New Order. And so I really do feel like I probably shouldn't take this very much for granted because a title like this does have quite an impressive feat of different types of functionality. You have all sorts of things that are well played in a title like this. At least for a sequel, it has an amazing story. The fact that it utilizes the Nazi army in a scenario where World War II had ended in a completely different way than what it had really happened. The Germans had invented some super bionic technology, robotic pretty much, and some that's powerful enough to the point where it would in fact be enough to annihilate the whole world. Hitler's plan, however, was pretty much set in motion to take over the entire world and start an entire new piece of humanity. Life on Earth would pretty much never be the same as it had been for a long, long time. But in any serious matter right here, I will say at least for something like this where we actually have somebody who's willing to go all out as possible to defeat the Nazi army and to take back every single part of the world. Even if this is in fact just one one man army that we have here. BJ Blazkowicz is truly the hero of all things considered when it comes to, well, I just died like that once again. Man, I hate it when it just thrusts up the difficulty like that where it's almost impossible to put together. I mean, I don't know about you, but yeah, I also really don't like it when they have to send you back all the way to certain points. I mean, at least it's not that far back, but this kind of checkpoint just gets a bit too irritated by any means, because look at that. Just like that, I just got some of my armor and my health drained by these two guys. They're slightly armored in their own way, but they're pretty easy to kill. Maybe because of the lower difficulty that I've chosen for this. But in any case, it does look like, wow. Hopefully I can actually excel here and move on to the next part of this level, but what the heck? Wow. One shot, one kill. Someone was able to get to me. Oh man. Well, let's try it again then. Get all the way down here. Shoot down these Nazis over here before progressing on to the next room. And this room is technically where a lot of people were able to converge onto me and eventually just gang up on me and shoot me all down completely. I need a more powerful weapon at some point. One that's more powerful by any means. And if there is one out there that I'm just not aware of, then well, that's one thing. But if I would have known from the get-go, I definitely would have gotten all the way through here. But then again, this is game footage that I basically made over a year ago. Well over a year ago. And man, it was certainly one thing for me to be able to play Wolfenstein the New Colossus, but it was a whole other thing for me to be able to try this game out on its entire incarnate spectrum. But okay, it does look like I actually might be able to move on for once. And I won't have to deal with all of this continuous 
Wow, okay. And I know there's a commander in here, because otherwise, why wouldn't that alarm indicator be going off right at the top of the screen, if you can see it? Basically, it's pulsating in red, pretty much. But, here I am, basically trying to figure that out. Okay. I took out the commander, and now the alarm has been disabled, so I can basically rest easy. Or, maybe I'm not really supposed to rest, because I have a mission to do here. So... Let's just see what we can do here. We have some health and armor power-ups. We got some ammo. We got some other stuff up here in the top floor. And there's even more of that stuff. Wow. Even a fire axe. Or it's supposed to be like a throwing hatchet. Something like that. Hmm. Ultimately, I'm pretty sure that this title... It might be confusing to some people. It might not necessarily be a disappointment by any means. I really do ultimately consider this to be better than the likes of any other Wolfenstein title out there. The best of the series thus far. And that could pretty much be saying a lot. But I'm not really going to go too far on that and just simply refer to it as the best title related to gaming history. No, that pretty much just goes to ARK. And there's been a lot of ARK I've played on here as well, which you'll be able to see soon enough. Okay, it looks like this cutscene, we're pretty much done with the likes of many other things put together. And it also does seem, wow, okay. I mean, look at the visuals on this. This is just incredible. In fact, that Bethesda and Machine Games were able to put this together along with the likes of several other well-known companies. Of all things considered, I really do feel like that this is just an amazing title that goes together in so many ubiquitous fashions. And all that speaking, I mean, graphics is just one thing about it. Gameplay is a whole nother thing, and then you have the likes of a lot of other stuff. So, well, as you can see here, it does look like we have a bunch of other stuff here to take care of. Yeah, it does look like we have the... So, okay, it does seem like that this submarine here that the others are in seem to be okay. And the others as well, they're also in peak condition. Alright, so here we are, we're basically destroying the controls here. It's probably supposed to disable the airship, or maybe something else entirely is supposed to happen. Not too sure about it, but it does look like we got company coming in. Okay, I obviously can't go that way then. So I'll just go sprint across over to the other side of this sector of the airship itself. Where I can then try to make my way out. Oh crap. That's a huge freaking armored thingy right there. Whoa, it's throwing lasers at me. Who would have thought that lasers would be a thing in 1961? I mean, this was a little ahead of its time. 